Gentlemen's Homebrew coming at you with a beer review. It's been a long time since I've actually done a beer review from the backyard. I was out fighting the willow, cutting that baby back, and uh, but I was inspired to get out here and do this. I've got quite a few great beers. We had uh, the National Homebrewers Conference here in Portland just last week, and uh, this is the 4th of July. So just a week ago, I had a crowd of people out on the deck, amazing people, and a few local friends. Thank you. Uh, they know who they are. But uh, we also had Ryan Rashawn, who uh, used to be Stumpy Joe Jr., and uh, a great beer reviewer, absolutely wonderful beer review. He brought a few bombshells on us, some beauties that we got to try. Uh, so what have we got today? Here it is. This is what we got. We've got the Fresh Flow uh, India Pale Ale. It's a New England style IPA, any IPA. It's 6.5% ABV. The final gravity on this actually was 1.010, so they attenuated it down pretty far. Uh, but they uh, do list some of the malts here that I was able to find. They have uh, two row in it. They've got superior, superior pilsen, if I can say that, carafoam, oat malts, not flaked oats, oat malts, and then flaked barley. So a little change up in terms of the malts on this, but that should be fun. Uh, they also have in terms of hawks, a whole load of them. They've got a Zaka, Chinook, Galaxy, Mosaic, Citra, and then Apollo Extract. And the yeast is none other than a local one. From Y East, they've got the London Ale 3. And uh, that's a beauty when it comes to New England, uh, New England IPAs. Boy, I can't speak today. This is a uh, fun beer, I know, because I've already had it. But I've been drinking it in and amongst a whole bunch of other beers. So it'll be fun just to do a review on it. Let's get it cracked open. Normally, you're, you're thinking you're going to get the flaked oats and flaked wheat. But with just flaked barley, uh, that's a little different and then the oat malts and look at this it really is still very hazy that's a, like a oh I want to say a, a light milky orange color kind of a pale uh, color but very kind of uh, milky hazy in color so it matches up very nice let's get a nose on this this is the I it's wonderful it has a great nose so so let's go and tackle some of this let's break it up the first impression though is in the citrus range and what's really interesting on this one is you get orange but you got get this lemon too so lemon orange and just a hint of some grapefruit on it on the citrus side I, I was gonna go for tropical but the interesting thing was I got a bit of a dankness on that now you got to remember you've got uh, some citra in there so you probably could get some dankness from that maybe a little cattiness going on you also get a, a touch of some pine on it and I feel like I'm getting a little vanilla and stone fruits oh my goodness Oh, okay, now doing that, I, I just did the little cover with a little swirl, okay, and then come back. And you're going to pull some different things. And so now that pulls in some of those sto fr stone fruits. You're getting some peach, probably a little more peach than apricot, but you're getting both of those qualities in it. <sighs> Tropical fruit, so you're getting pineapple on it. I'd say some mango on it, too. Um, there was something else, another tropical, and I can't quite say what that was. No, I think it's more the citrus blending in and that lemon touch in there, which is quite interesting. I had this impression that to a certain degree when the citrus kicks up, it reminds me of something that only probably, I assume, older people like myself that have been in California around the coast, southern coast, like Newport Beach have had, and a little bit of the orange Julius character it was where they took uh, eggs and like orange juice and uh, I can't remember what else and they threw it in a blender. It was very unique. So anyway, we're going to dive in. Cheers. This is such a smooth, easy drinker. Someone's trying to talk to me here. It's a sm And it's the 4th of July. It's got a raindrop on me. And with a breeze. So this is going to be an interesting evening. Um, it, oh, oh, well, I'm glad I waited. I'm getting this, some pithy bite from like an orange character and pine kicking up on me and a bit of that dankness. So as it sits on there, that's kind of fun. A little bit of uh, 
uh, grapefruit rind as well. I like the mouthfeel on this one. The malt character is just a diff bit different like you would expect uh, from the description I gave you of the malts. Just the oat malts, just, you know, that's nice. And then flaked barley. It just changes up a, the bit of the taste, you know. It doesn't come off as like a big pilsner. They've got this pure pilsner, but that's that's also an accent. It's really a two-row base. And then uh, the hops, though. The hops are really... You get that extract from the Apollo, and that's where some of that bitterness is kicking on the backside. It's not overwhelming. It's all balanced, but it's kind of fun. It gives us a little bit of sharp bite on the backside. It seems like the fruits are all taking turns playing. Uh, who's going to take the lead on this? At one moment, I get the orange, and then that more of that orange rind and pithy, pithy orange, pithy grapefruit type characters in the lemon really take take the lead. But then other times I feel like the tropical stuff pulls up and pulls ahead a little bit. The, the stone fruits are there, but they're just kind of balancing out that whole parade of fruits. And then you just lightly get that vanilla quality, and then it, and then it starts tasting more like that Orange Julius character I talked about. This is really a fun beer. So I'm going to take just a moment with this. I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to come back, and we're going to get some numbers on this. This is just a really refreshing beer for me it's just it's a bit different from all those any IPAs out there which I just am digging on now I I really feel any IPA is really gonna have a blast of the hops but then be balanced out and this is definitely the case but what they did by adding that Apollo extract just to give it a little zing on the backside that's something special you just feel it right on the back of the tongue but you're still getting a balanced smooth sweetness they didn't go with the flaked oats and flaked wheat, so you don't get any of the wheat character that you normally get. They've got the flaked barley. That's fun. I love it. But they still got oats in there, but they're oat molds. It's just, it's just a nice change up. Very creative on their part, and I think it plays out so well. The hops that they chose are wonderful. They're working together. It's just beautiful. What can I say? It's a delightful beer. We're going to give this a nice little rating in terms of the New England style IPAs. Uh, IPAs in general, I throw them all in there together. 6.5%. Uh, this has got to be really good. I've got to give it a big old 94, uh, I think, for any IPAs. This one's, this one's up there. I've had so many of them that are trying to play the game or play, play in between these days. You know, like kind of be in that category and they just lose. You've got to go for it all the way to be in any IPA. But better yet is the fact that this one, in terms of overall, is still it just a wonderful, wonderful beer. It's a big old 92 for me because it's got some bold characters that are smoothed out, uh, smooth out those edges, but then a little zing at the back. There's just something that I like about this. Uh, they were, oh, to, to brew like that, to brew like that. That's, that's a beautiful beer. There's so many times that brewers, I know home brewers that make, killer beers better than a lot of commercials but they'd be hard pressed to beat this one here it is again this is a great way to celebrate the fourth it is the fresh flow india pale ale that's new england india pale ale to you from uh, block 15 brewing out of corvallis oregon this is kevin clements homebrew saying life is too short to drink cheap beer and i will see you on the next beer review